Hey guys, I'm back with a tip uh, or another question I got from one of my agents. And how do you find the money? You know, when we're talking about, you know, where, where we're able to help people free up money to, to reallocate and spend other places, how do we free that up? How do we find it? Well, it's more than just filling out a form. It's more than just um, looking at what they're doing. You have to do a really good fact find. You know, I talk about doing a fact find. I'm not talking about just filling out the form the company gives you. It's asking the questions that go along with it to help the prospect identify the problem they have. And once they have a problem, then they are wanting to look for a solution to a problem. And that's when you can start finding the money. You know, reallocating money that already spend it. At the end of the day, most of us agents live paycheck to paycheck. There's no money left over. So our clients are in the same boat. So where can we find money? Where can we identify different places? So I was meeting with some clients last night uh, here at my house and going over the situation. They have accumulated a lot of debt. They're living way, way beyond their means, just got into a really bad hole. Okay. And so we sat for like two and a half hours going through their finances, going through uh, probably way deeper than most agents need to go, but they are friends of the family. So I wanted to make sure I went through every nook and cranny with them. And when it's all said and done, you know, their $6,000 a month income, you know, 1500 would go into a mortgage or a credit card payments, another 2000 going to mortgage, you know, so at least in their car payments, and all kinds of stuff, daycares. But at the end of the day, by doing the fact find with them, looking over their entire situation, you know, showing them where the problem is, they have all this debt that's not going anywhere. You know, they wanted to find money to do it. And we talked about it for in great detail of where we can find the money. So we went and looked at some of their aspects look at some of the things they're paying on and with just some of their ideas they gave, well, I can cut this. I can cancel. I don't need this anymore. I can cancel this. We freed up $184 within 15 minutes of just the basics and another 500, 500, $600 a month on stuff that I helped them redirect. So for an average family, family of four, two kids own a home, you know, in their 40s, we were able to free up almost $784 a month just by helping them understand the problem they face and helping them reposition the money they wanted to spend, need to put elsewhere without touching their 401k, without touching any of that other stuff we talk about, just looking at what they're currently spending. You know, they know they need to make some lifestyle changes. They knew they need to stop eating out as much. You know, they're, they're, they come to a point, a precipice where they can't, it's either we keep going this path and we go bankrupt in a year or we start making changes and trying to figure out a situation. You know, so if you really want to help people learn to do a really good fact find with them, to really get involved in the situation, to under, help them understand what their priorities are, what their wants and goals are. Help them set better goals. You know, by helping them reach money around you know, they had a trip to Vegas scheduled. Now they're going to have extra spending money while they're there without relying on their credit cards. You know, with some of the money we moved around temporarily. You know, when they get back in a month, then we're going to book some life insurance and some annuities and some investment accounts for them. But until you help people see and find the money, see the problem they have and help them find the money to, uh, to help them solve the problem, you know, you can't really help the average family until you learn this stuff. Because if, if this was, if this was you know, t a typical case and I want to sell insurance to a couple, you know, the average premium is between $500 and $1,500 five, five, per month, $600 to $1,000 in commissions for term policies or small ULs, small whole lives. And that's not going to get the client what they need. They have a, a $300,000 mortgage, so $100,000 term policy is not going to solve the issue. 
you know? So we need to help people find the money to do it. And until you can help people find the money, you, you got to be struggling to work with middle income families. You know, we all tend, a lot of agents that tend to go after the more affluent because it's low hanging fruit. They have extra money. We don't have to dig as hard. They can afford five hundred thousand dollars a month. And that's why 95% of the agents are off that top one or two percent of the population. And why half of them are starving because of it or half of them are falling out of the business. If you really want to learn to help the broadest market, you know, and sell lots of life insurance, lots of annuities, 401k replacements, Roth IRA alternatives, really help the average family to save money so they don't become a burden to the society later on. You need to take time to learn this, these techniques. It'll be a, a, a blessing to you. I've built my entire career helping people find the money. You know, my average case between $600 and $1,000 a month that I write. And it's not money out of pocket for my clients. It's all about repositioning what they're already spending. So if you want to take your career to the next level and really jump to that next level of being that high-end life insurance planner, more than just that typical term guy or typical more protection guy, you know, and want to advance your career and help a lot more people and be more fulfilled and make a ton more money doing it, learn to find the money. Learn how to do a real good fact find with your prospects. How to uncover those problems. It's one of those things that once you learn it, it's going to change your entire career. And I'm not trying to hyper fluff it. That's not me. You guys know that from, I'm not a marketer, typical marketer. But when I, when I say this, it, it is 100% true that if you learn these techniques, you can change your career. You can elevate your career. You can get to the MDRT numbers, top of the table, core of the table numbers within a year or two if you learn the techniques to do a really good fact find and how to find the money. So that's what I have for you guys today. Take this to heart. Do some studying. If you need to talk, want to talk about it, my number's on the screen. Give me a call. So it fit in and talk for us. And I'll show you some ways you can find money in your own situation. And if you apply it to yourself, you can apply it to your clients. All right? Make it a great day, guys.